From the wonders of hugging face, I stumbled upon this model LFX 118 billion parameter model, which claims to have beaten GPT-4 on various benchmarks and performs closer to GPT-40. This model is trained on Red Pajama dataset and Instruct fine-tuned on various open datasets. And that's all the information there is on this model card, which I will also drop in the video's description. In this video, we will be installing it locally and then we will also try it out on few of the prompts. But one thing I want to uh, say at the start that I will be using a quantized version of it from this person who has done a wonderful job of creating a lot of quantized version of it. And I will be using the smallest one because that is still huge, I think around 50 gig of size, plus that is the only thing which uh, can fit on my local GPU card. But let's see how it goes. The reason why I'm showing you this installation video is that I will be using a new method of just doing it through Llama CPP Python. I haven't done it so far, so I just wanted to try it out on this model. Uh, the command which I'm going to use, I will also uh, drop them out in my blog post and I will drop the link in video's description. So let's go to my local system and then we will try to get it installed and then we'll see how it performs. I will be using Ubuntu 22.04 for this video and I have one GPU card which is A6000 and that GPU card is courtesy of Mast Compute who have been very generous of providing me this GPU to test this model on and if you are looking to rent a GPU I will drop their link in video's description so feel free to check it out seems pretty cool I'm based in Sydney Australia and they are based in US but you will see that the performance of the virtual machine with this GPU card is quite good by the way okay so now you know what my specs are let me clear the screen Another thing I would highly suggest is to install Conda on your system or mini Conda to create virtual environments to keep everything separate, nice and clean from your actual configuration and installation on Ubuntu or whatever Linux you are using. So you can see I am using Ubuntu 24.1.2. If you don't know how to install Conda, I have done few videos around it. So please search the channel and sh you should be okay to install them quite easily. Let's clear the screen. Let me create the Conda environment. I'm just creating this Conda environment with the name Alphax and my Python is 3.11. It is going to install everything on my system. Just press Y here and then that should be done fairly quickly. And that is already done. Let's activate this Conda environment by doing Conda activate Alphax and you will see that this is now activated here in the parenthesis. Let's clear the screen. Next step, uh, download the GGUF file, which is a quantized file. So if I take you back to that quantized files from this hugging face page, just scroll down and from here, just right click on it. Sorry, just right click on it and copy the link and then go back to the terminal. And in the terminal, simply do wget and then just let me grab the link again this is a link and this is going to download it on your local system to save time i already have downloaded it so if you sh if i show you my file here this is my file the size is around 41 gig so let me clear the screen and another thing uh, you need to do if you haven't already is to make sure that you have llama cpp python installed so this is how you install it pip install llama dash cpp dash python the c plus plus library very handy very lightweight in order to uh, play around with your models so i already have done it too let me now fire up my python interpreter now let's import the llama from this llama cpp Okay, so it says that Llama CPP is not there. So it means I have to install it again. Okay, so you're in luck. So let me install it. There you go. So let's wait for it to get installed. That is done. 
let's clear the screen and now let's fire up my python interpreter again okay so let me import uh llama from llama cpp again this time it is done and now let's initialize our model which is lfx with i'm offloading everything to gpu layers i'm specifying the seed which is a random value and then the context window it is going to load everything there you go how good is that so very very good gpu you see that it has loaded everything all the um, kv cache and all that stuff very very easily and it has all the information from these are the attention layers here and then this is a person who has done the quantization and a lot of other information around heads around embeddings frequency rope and then end of uh, sequence token and all that stuff okay so that is done now in order to generate the output from this llm all you need to do is to just use this command which is output is equal to llm your prompt and then it is going to generate few of the tokens here for now i have just given it 120 you can increase it let's wait for it to come back it's a big model even with the uh, q2 quantization level so it should take few seconds here there you go it took around 30 seconds or so and then it is showing you that how many run uh, runs it did how many tokens it generated and all that information now all you need to do is to just print this choices and there you go because we have confined our output that is why it has just printed the first one and the question was name the planets in that solar system <coughs> and the answer is mercury and then it is just um, putting out some more information if there were any log probes and all that stuff so we already have put in the stop there there you go so and you can simply of course run any inference you want let me clear the screen here the screen is cleared and then you can ask it other questions like what is the capital of australia and of course you can ask it anything let's wait for it to come back and now it is printing out here just six that is definitely not the capital of australia maybe that is due to the quantized um quantization level because i'm just using the two one anyway the main purpose of this video was to show you how you can do the inference of this huge big models with this llama cpp python and also you see that i am just putting the whole load on this gpu which is a 6000 and still it is it hasn't given me out of memory error which is quite good so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it as i said i will drop the code in my uh, the link to the code in my video description so feel free to check it out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching